Hi there, my name is Matthew, aka EasyBot, and today we're going to have a look at a module called the Monolith. We could make you go really crazy, like we're doing a TikTok video or something. The Monolith is a stereo reverb pitch shifter, and it's pretty cool. And just a short backstory about this. The Monolith is designed by Chris Barth, who owns Raya Media. And Chris Barth is a part of a visualist group called Allotrope IJK, who often did the visuals for me and other performers here in Seattle uh, pre-COVID. So I had a relationship with him before he started his Eurorack company and is now in the process of developing more modules. And um, he hooked me up with a monolith because he's a homie and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna share it with you. So this little skiff that I have right here is kind of like my new voice modulation skiff. That's why you also see this vocoder in there. And I'm gonna be doing a video on this vocoder separately because I'm fascinated by it and I love it. And it's now my favorite vocoder and my first vocoder in Eurorack format. But anyway, we're not gonna talk about that right now. So what I have in the skiff is the Bifaco Instrument Interface V2. This allows me to connect voice stuff, like microphones, condenser mics, like I'm gonna use this Shure Gooseneck condenser mic, and we're gonna process my voice. Um, but it also lets me plug in stuff like my guitar or, um, you know, <laughs> other pieces of gear, and it has an envelope follower, and does a lot of cool stuff. I'm not gonna use the envelope follower, I'm literally just using it to bring line level up to Eurorack level, which is roughly 18 dB from line level. So it's doing a lot of a lot of amping to get signals into Eurorack. Let's talk about the monolith for a second. What is the monolith? I said it's a stereo reverb pitch shifter and that is what it is. Um, and kind of the sounds that I've liked from it so far are like tremolo sounds, tape warble, sending like piano sounds into it are really cool. Processing drums has been pretty great. But my favorite so far has been processing my voice, which is why it's in this skiff right here. Let's talk about what's on the front panel. We have a blend knob and this blend knob is referring to the incoming signal. If I turn on this modulation source, this allows me to frequency modulate incoming audio in real time. So I can actually change the pitch of incoming audio and it sounds pretty rad. We also have a DJ filter which is attached to this reverb and that's what this wet knob is for. So they're like two independent concepts. So there's an oscillator inside the monolith and you can control the frequency of that oscillator here. You can control the shape of the oscillator here and you can control the depth of its modulation to both uh, reverb and to the uh, frequency modulated audio signal that's coming in for pitch shifting. And it's a lot of fun to mess with and even without modulating it with something like the Oct that I have in here, it's actually a really great module to mess around with with just even very simple sounds. But it also has a couple other features that I think are rad. There is clocking for it. So this clock input is changing the period of the oscillator. So it's changing the width of the actual oscillations. So you're able to clock the monolith to other sources and it will tempo sync. But it also gives you a gate output so that you can carry on that uh, signal to another sequencer or trigger another action in one of your other modules. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug my microphone in it and then we're gonna play around with pitch shifting. So here we go. Try not to bump any of my stuff hanging overhead. Okay, cool. Just great. So I'm gonna turn on phantom power and it's gonna start working now. Okay. Bring that blend up. Bring it up, up all the way. way. So this is I, I have this in my vocals. Gift. And we could make you go really look crazy like we're doing a TikTok video or something. Real crazy. And we could turn into a robot. And bring this down. And now it's just a really fast tremolo. Yeah. Back to this. So bring this frequency down. Bring this, this modulation way up. And we have the quantization turned on. But let's turn it off. And now we just and get now these we just get these. Great, great breaks. 
and then bring in some of this reverb. When the frequency is really low, the pre-delay will also be low, or it affects the pre-delay. And this sounds pretty good. Good, 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 good. Low pass that. Get some crazy territory. But if we just go half and half with some light modulation, it's actually really nice and uh, quite usable. So, so, so far, I uh, really feel like I'm quite a fan. Of this module. I love, I love the DJ. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a little nuts. Alright, let's try a little bit of modulation. So now no, I'm no, 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 no. with the oh, box. Let's try. Now it's uh, just going all over the place. So if you send it some like stepped voltage, which is not what we have right now, because we're just limited to this small skiff, and I'm not trying to make this some crazy skiff. This is just for manipulating my voice, so I don't really need it to have a bunch of modulation. But this thing definitely responds really well to modulation. So I do think Chris did a great job uh, constructing the monolith. I do look forward to seeing what he continues to come up with with his modules. He's very fresh to making your rack modules. I'm just triggering a chord with the poly cinematic. The shape of the oscillators starts at a sine wave all the way to the far left. Middle is a triangle, and then it goes all the way to a square. It's a wavetable, so it's it's variable. There's shapes in there that are between those shapes. Modulate that DJ filter. Those it like it's, I'm getting these instant lo-fi chords. If I use the poly cinematics reverb first, so we got reverb into reverb. Go. 
I'm gonna be running the M8 with a really simple little beat that I've programmed on here, kind of a goofy little beat, and it's actually gonna be summed to mono here. So it's not gonna sound as good as the M8 can sound, so don't use this as a judgment on the M8, please. The monolith can take a mono signal and turn it into a stereo signal, and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna turn on the modulation here, and start bringing that blend in. I'm gonna put it all the way at max, because that's where it's the most fun. has this quantizer button and that will quantize the frequency to um, you know standard vocal octave. So you can get like octaves and uh, semitone shifts. Now I'm modulating the quantization. Because it's working in a time-based domain that uh, modulation to the incoming audio signal, the pitch shifting, will end up going in reverse sometimes. So you can do some really cool stuff with you if you sequence this modules on and off in wet and dry. Sounds so good. And uh, I'll also be doing a video on this voice modular very soon. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe. Uh, and I got some new merch in the Modbank shop. Cool. I'll see you later.